la bull in Jesus name of a dweller bull. Thank you so much. welcome back to the channel this is going to be pretty a long video so i advise you to take your water your cup of tea or whatever or popcorn and just watch through this video it's going to be educative it's going to be really interesting and it's just something that i've never done on my channel so it's going to be a story to tell you guys how i told a guy that god said he wants the will of god for my life <laughs> if you still don't understand what i'm trying to say is i told a man that God said that he was my husband yeah so what happened is i met this guy in university and we were really so close and we used to go to bible studies together scripture union on campus and then we became really close and we used to talk and we we're really friends we used to do literally everything together and he was not from my church but then he was from my scripture union like bible study on campus so we literally started doing the same things we started doing things together we'll go to the mall together even he was even close to my family my family member knew him and at some point i started liking this guy but and then this guy liked another girl and so he used to drive so sometimes when he drives he come and pick me up and then we go pick up that girl sometimes when he come pick me up the girl is already in the car i started getting jealous because i started viewing this guy as my husband already you get I later told him that I was not comfortable with us being three in this friendship because I just felt like he was always being biased, he doesn't treat me nice anymore. And then at some point, the day, no, okay, fast forward to the day I told him that God said that you're my husband. We were going to a Bible study at their house, at their church, and when he came to pick me up, oh, there was no one in the car. So I felt like, okay, usually in the car we're always three. At least this was a good opportunity for me to tell him that, you know what, God is saying that you're my husband. Mm -hmm. And I decided to use the opportunity and I told him. And shocking was his face. You could have seen how shocked he was. He looked at me like, go say you are what? I started to tell him just to flee my heart, right? So after telling him, he told me that, we probably need to pray because he doesn't feel the same way he never looked at me the same way and last last year our friendship just scattered we just stopped talking we were younger that was when i was 18 years old now i'm a big bigger i feel like i have i understand things better now and and i believe that he was also younger he was also 18 back then and I'm sure he just didn't know how to go about the thing. I also remember telling one of my sisters in the Lord that I perceived that God was speaking to me about this person. She told me to never go ahead and tell him, rather wait for him to come tell me. But and then I was like, you know what, I'm tired. This woman is about, this guy is about to steal my husband. And I started to tell him. So that was that. Okay, so disclaimer, it is on my story. This is just a story from a friend that she confided in me. And she asked me to say her story on YouTube and just give you guys advice. She told me to tell it as if it was mine. And I don't think I did justice, but I think I just know. People just use the name of God to, to blackmail other people. Be foundable, be active, you know, marriage, 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 minimize your singleness or your single good so that even when you get out of single good, you will appreciate us of God. You don't join the choir, you don't join the life. You have a social life. In Jesus' name, I'm a 